First and foremost, I want to thank um, my pastors for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'm super excited for what the Lord has put on my heart to share with you. The title of my message is called Fruitful Forgetting. Who all has a past that you just kind of want to forget or you kind of have to forget at times? My first point is you have to forget who you once were to become who God wants you to be now. So in 1 Samuel 10, um, Saul was uh, prophesied that he was going to be a king. And they were going to have this big ceremony. They were going to cast lots and it was going to be officially announced. He was the only, him and Samuel were the only one who knew he was going to be king. And it says here, then he brought each family of the tribe of Benjamin before the Lord and the family of the Matrites was chosen. And finally, Saul, son of Kish, was chosen from among them. But when they looked for him, he had disappeared. So they asked the Lord, where is he? And the Lord replied, he is hiding among the baggage. So they found him and brought him out. Let me tell you something. Do not hide among your baggage because baggage is heavy. It will only weigh you down on your walk with God. Now imagine you're trying to run to a destination, but you're carrying 300 pounds of your past that you don't even know because it happened in the past. And the enemy slips into your baggage through rejection, through trauma, through unforgiveness. Now you're carrying more weight. It's like you're walking on a treadmill. You want to get closer to God, but it feels like you're walking, you're going nowhere. Let that baggage go and run free. Run close to God because he has cleansed you. You are made new. Jesus has offered to take that weight off your back. You have been made new. You just simply forget who you once were and rely on the fact that Jesus saved you. My second point is, your past doesn't define you it defines your testimony second corinthians 5 17 says this means that anyone who belongs to christ has become a new person the old life is gone a new life has begun who all knows that person where you meet them in like the first five minutes they're telling you everything that happened with them they're proud of their past they're like proud of everything that happened they carry that around with them don't wear your past like it's a badge you have been made new you are cleansed And I want to encourage everybody here. Everybody here has a testimony. So use your testimony as a weapon against the enemy, not an excuse for the enemy. I'm going to say that again. Use your testimony as a weapon against the enemy, not an excuse for the enemy. With that, we'll take Satan's shame for God's glory. We'll flip his torment into God's comfort. Satan may ask you, weren't you an alcoholic? You're like, yeah, but now I'm sober. Satan will ask you, "Uh, weren't you struggling with your identity? Yeah, no, I know I'm a child of God. Weren't you struggling with anger? Now I dwell in the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding. And I thank Jesus for taking away my sins. He is the King of kings and he is worthy of all the praise. My last point is, the time is now. Somebody say the time. Somebody say is now. For God says, at just the right time I heard you. On the day of salvation I helped you. Indeed, the right time is now. Today is the day of salvation. If you are waiting for God to use you once you're perfectly clean, you're a perfect Christian, you'll never get used because you can never be that. Your social status does not interfere with how God will use you. Your past, how you grew up in, what you're addicted to, what you're struggling with, God will use you. He wants to use you now. He wants you, he will use you no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what baggage you carry. He will use you now because he is ready. It's a blessing to be used by God. I want to leave every person here that feels like, yeah, cute message, but you don't know my past. You don't know what I did. You don't know what I said. God is ready. Let God use you. If he forgave you, you can too. Don't put a limit on yourself that God didn't put on you. God decides that and he says, you know what? You're ready. I'm ready to use you. And Philippians 3.13 says, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. 